Hello everybody, it's Gary from Galway Atlanticaria. Uh, we're just going to go and explore the shore. It's the rock pool season. It's a fantastic time for going out and exploring the rock pools just to see what we can discover. So let's go explore the shore. So uh, one of the really cool species we find, uh, we, we talk about engineering uh, on the shore. Uh, so on this example, we've got the sand mason worm. See this? Uh, so this is a worm that builds this tube out of mucus and stone and it's about 30 centimeters deep. So you imagine it only leaves about three or four centimeters up and it has all these little frills at the end. So what these do is they, they will catch any of the food uh, that's uh, passing over them and then they consume it. Uh, so as you can see, there's a large community, like everywhere you look, you'll see the little frills come around. So just a really fantastic species to find uh, on the shore, uh, just for that whole engineering and building building its home from stone and mucus. So everyone asks about these, uh, what are these squiggles on the shore? Okay, so these are the lugworm. Now there's two types of species. So one species has a smooth and the other uh, cast is broken up. Uh, but what's really cool about this example is you can see the air hole. Now I'm not sure if that air hole is belong to this one uh, because they make a U shape in the sand. So what the lugworm does, it will consume all the sand and it'll feed on the little bacteria that's found inside it. Uh, so basically it poops out clean sand. So it's very important for this kind of bio -turbulation. It's like a worm in, in the earth, so it's very good for the shore. Uh, so that's our second species we found. So one thing I love about Grattan Beach is the diversity of environments. So you have this uh, flat plain of uh, sand and it's full of lugworms and sand masons. Then of course then you've got your rock pool over there. So basically you can look for different species on different parts of the environment. Uh, so I just love being out here sometimes and just photographing the sand. It's just so relaxing and we talk about the C CES services. Just one thing you get from here is that just being in nature. It's an absolutely beautiful place uh, just to stay for a while and just take it all in. So let's go explore the shore. So I'm just going to do a, a quick scan just to show you uh, how beautiful it is out here. So we have all these sand masons, we have the beautiful uh, lugworm casts. Isn't it so beautiful? Um, that's one thing I love about coming out uh, to the rock pool, uh, just for moments like this where um, you're just surrounded by light on the shore. Uh, it's one of the best places to go explore the shore. Um, so yeah, so let's go explore some more and see what we can discover. Another, uh, another fantastic species you can find is this honeycomb worm. Uh, so they build these small little apartments, see? I'll just zoom in a little bit more. So they all live inside these apartments and then of course they filter feed when the tide comes back in and then they retreat inside at low tide. Uh, just a fantastic species to learn about on the shore. And here is a, I think it's a ragworm. A beautiful color on it. Let's zoom in and see. Look at that. Just be able to zoom in a little bit more. Just look at all the beautiful legs and little feelers. So like that, when you lift up a rock, a lot of the species will flee straight away. Uh, very surprised the ragworm is staying around. Normally, they would just dart into the substrate, but you can see it's going there now. Um, so they can range from multicolors like dark green. I'm not sure why this one is orange colored. So here we have a European eel, Anguilla Anguilla. This comes all the way from the Sargasso. Look at that. They're only out for a second. They don't like being out at all. And it's gone. So here we found a beautiful beadlet anemone. It's this little red thing on the rock. And so the beadlet anemone, uh, because it was under the water, of course, it was uh, close. So it'll start to close up now. It doesn't like being out of the open anymore. We've also found some white eggs beside it and another anemone. Uh, so we're just going to put it back real quickly. It doesn't like being out of the water long. But that's probably our fourth or fifth species on our rock pool today. Let's go explore the shore. So here we found a shore crab, and unfortunately it's a victim of the hacker barnacle parasite. So what this does is basically stops it from molting, reproducing. 
and um, so this crab will it's just essentially a zombie until it dies so it won't be able to molt with this hacker so we found a few uh, shore crabs with this on it so unfortunately uh, uh, this crab won't survive long um, yeah this is our small little shore crab and you just see it there it looks very painful it actually pulsates so I'm not sure if removing it is a good idea um, but yeah that's sad so I think this is a small little scorpion fish. Look at that. This is quite cool actually. 